Welcome to another Mac 7 tutorial, number 16. This is MIDI Voice. Okay, when we left off last time, we had just made a nice keyboard here with a volume control on it, a little increment, an uh, increase, decrease uh, object to move us up and down through the octaves, and we can play nice, uh, right, and And get me started. Look at that. Okay, um, fantastic. So that um, we have made our own sort of keyboard input as though it were a musical keyboard for this uh, MIDI device we have down here below. But today we're going to learn, I'm just going to leave that device way up there out of, out of the way, or maybe I'll just move it into a sort of conglomeration that it can fit down here and we'll just bring it down so it's a little bit closer not too much because we're gonna need a little space okay so um, today we're gonna figure out how to change the voice in MIDI and in MIDI that is program change and that is right here and this is gonna be a fairly simple thing to do so I'm gonna just uh, grab these things and kinda move them over here a little bit just out of the way and um, we're going to deal with program change and this is going to be fairly simple I think I think just get rid of that little number that came with the help file okay so let's put um, let's learn how to do this with a menu so let's type up here the letter N and then type U menu and type outside it and we get this nice little drop down menu here and what we're really going to be working on is going over here to the inspector and finding out what items are inside this U menu. And so we scroll on down here and we eventually, hopefully, find items. And we see that inside here it is empty. Okay? Now I'm going to get myself in trouble if I click on that while I'm zoomed in so I'm gonna click on that now and we see that it's empty so where are we going to get all these voices that we want to use you are going to find them on the blackboard site of this class for those of you not in this class well this is the price you pay uh, down here in week four um, I copied them all from somewhere in Max's uh, documentation, but I can't remember where. Here's all 128 voices in general MIDI. So if you just highlight them all with your cursor and copy them, tough luck for those of you not taking my class, sorry. And then we'll go back to Max and we'll just take this little empty thing and highlight it and paste all those names in there okay and we'll click OK and just watch what happens we'll drag our little U menu out so it's a little bit bigger lock our patcher and see what we get look at that so there it is all 128 voices all the way from acoustic grand piano to gunshot now we're gonna have to make sure of one thing that the, often happens with this kind of object and I honestly don't know what's going to happen. Our output from this is going to be a number. So let's just put the uh, a, a number box below it. So we'll just type I and the, out, the number is going to come out here when we select it and then we're going to just connect that to the program change inlet right here. Oops, there we go. Connected. Okay, so now lock your patcher, click on this, and find something that's very, very, very particular. Like you could not mistake it for the thing next to it. Let's try um, <laughs> uh, they, they do actually seem like the ones next to it, uh, but let's try a is a glockenspiel like a music box? I don't know. Um, how about an orchestral harp? 
it doesn't really sound like pizzicato strings and it doesn't sound like a timpani drum so let's choose it and that's number 46 here and let's just see if it sounds like a harp when we play it hmm sounds enough like a harp that i'm confused how about this that's a timpani if i ever heard one okay so it came out right Sometimes when you put things in a list, you have to put either a plus one or a minus one object in here to make sure that if, if the list really goes from one to 128 and a U menu selects zero through 127, sometimes you have to correct for it. But in this case, you don't. And so wasn't that easy. And now we can just take our little U menu, move it on up here and stick it with our um, other musical parts and uh, well what the heck let's make that part of the uh, presentation as well so we have all these as part of the presentation and at this point you could take all of these things and fashion them into a very nice MIDI keyboard that works with your computer and I urge you to do so so thank you for watching this fairly short tutorial, and I look forward to seeing your MIDI keyboards. Thanks a lot. Patch well. See you next week. Bye-bye.